<laughs> the world's most dangerous women. The world dominated by men was left in shock when women came forward with disturbing crimes. These women were conspirators, cruel wives, murderers, serial killers, and drug lords. From killing people for ransom money to their own families, they were ready to go to an extreme level to get the job done. Even after years, their notorious and brutal records are enough to frighten anyone. So here I am bringing you the list of the world's most dangerous women. 5. Delphine LaLaurie Delphine LaLaurie was a prominent and wealthy socialite in New Orleans. In the 80s, it was common to enslave people. LaLaurie hated her slaves and would often curse them for being lazy and incompetent. Just a single mistake, and LaLaurie would punish them with her whip. Once, her slave was combing her hair when she caught a snag. This enraged LaLaurie, and she punished her to the point the slave went conscious, and other slaves had to interfere to save her life. This came to the attention of the authorities and after investigation, LaLaurie was forced to give up nine slaves, although they were returned by relatives later on. What do you think? Did she apologize to her slaves? To find out, click on the like and subscribe button, because we will reveal the most dangerous and cruel woman in the world at the end of the video. Even her daughters received beatings from her for attempting to feed the slaves. In 1834, a fire broke out in the kitchen of her home. Authorities found a suicidal slave chained to the stove, deciding she'd instead take her own life than being taken to the uppermost room to be punished. When people broke open the door to the slave quarters, they found seven mutilated slaves, still alive, all suspended from their necks with limbs that appeared to have been stretched. People got angry and destroyed everything in the house. The mutilated slaves were taken to jail, where over 4,000 people visited to bear witness to their sufferings. Bodies were also uncovered in the backyard. Lalaurie fled to Paris, where she later died. 4. Jessica Edisomwin Voodoo. Jessica Edisomwin is one of the most dangerous women in Europe who even the police failed to seize. She is a member of a criminal network from Nigeria, operating in all the major cities in France. A human smuggler who uses a form of witchcraft known as juju to force young Nigerian girls into prostitution. Jessica kidnapped girls from 17 to 38 from Nigeria and provided them to every major city. They housed the girls in terrible conditions, charging them exorbitant rents. Jessica would torture them and keep them hungry until they would agree to give up. The young Nigerian girls had to pay a debt of 50,000 to 60,000 euros each. They were then entrusted to an older woman who was supervising them and collecting the money. She would also pressure their family not to let the police know that the girl is kidnapped or used for prostitution, or else they would kill the victims. The girls would make $100 to $50,000, which she would send back to Nigeria through an informal payment system known as HALA. Jessica would even sell these girls for $10. One of the witnesses reported Jessica for abduction, human trafficking, and prostitution. But before the police would take any action, Jessica disappeared in the thin air. Jessica has been on the run since 2017 and could be in France, Belgium, or Germany. You better be aware because she may be close to you. 3. Belle Gunness Belle Gunness, a gorgeous blonde-haired lady with brown eyes and a beautiful smile, immigrated from Norway to the United States in 1881. She worked as a servant but couldn't earn enough money. After three years, she married a man in Chicago and ran a confectionery store. The business was unsuccessful, but strangely within a year, the store mysteriously burned down leaving the pair with insurance money. Gunness produced four children, two of whom died during infancy, awarding the pair with more insurance money. Not after long, Gunness's husband died of heart failure. After her husband's death, Gunness used the insurance money to purchase an Indiana farm with some of its property burned down. She remarried, but once again, her husband and two daughters died. The insurance money became the wealth she was long waiting for. The greed was becoming unbearable, so she desired more. She would find wealthy men through a lovelorn column of the newspaper. They came to her bearing gifts and money. People around her began to notice her becoming more prosperous. There was always a new man entering her dwelling. One man whose brother disappeared went to investigate. He found that Gunness farmhouse had been burnt down. In it were the remains of four skeletons. Three were children, and the last was a decapitated woman. 
Buried in shallow grounds across the property were over 40 men and children. During the investigation, it was found that Gunness had an accomplice Ray Lamfer, who confessed that the body of a woman they uncovered was not that of Gunness and that she planned the whole thing to make her escape. Gunness disappeared and was never seen again. 2. Grisel de Blanco, the Black Widow Grisel de Blanco was raised by an abusive mother in Colombia. At a very young age, Griselda was attracted to crime and prostitution. After the death of her first husband, she became involved with a drug trafficker named Alberto Bravo. They moved to New York in the early 70s and ran a successful narcotics trade, where Blanco designed lingerie to smuggle in cocaine. After being indicted with 30 others for what was at the time the biggest cocaine case in history, she and Bravo fled to Colombia. They later returned to the U.S. in the late 70s, with their new base in Miami. Being involved in the narcotics trade, Blanca was involved in many other crimes. She was a ruthless woman and invented a new method of killing. She was notorious for her drive-by shootings by motorcycle. She was fearless and brutal and was the one who orchestrated the Dade County Shopping Mall Massacre, where four people were killed. She didn't even forgive her partner Alberto Bravo when both got into an argument. She brought her gun out and shot him, including his six bodyguards. Blanca would kill children and begin a bisexual, would conduct female stripping parties, where she would sometimes execute the strippers afterward for her pleasure. What do you think would have happened to her? Did she survive or get killed? Stay tuned to know that. As time passed, Blanco knew that she had enemies around her, so she moved to California. It wasn't difficult for her to move to different countries as she was now a millionaire. She was arrested in 1985 and deported to Colombia in 2004, where one of her enemies finally got their revenge. Ironically, in 2012, she was killed while walking out of a butcher shop by a motorcycle drive-by shooting. 1. Natalia Bakshivi The world's most dangerous woman Natalia Bakshivi worked for some time as a senior nurse in the sanitation department of the Krasnodar Higher Military Aviation School of AK Serov Pilots but was dismissed due to chronic alcoholism. She was married to Dimitri who had been tried for robbery and car theft. Natalia lived in a school dormitory with her husband and was spending an antisocial lifestyle. But due to alcoholism addiction, she was often seen going to bars. On September 8th, she went to the bar and got into an argument with Alina Vakrasheva, which later became a quarrel. Some people interfered and ended the fight. After a few days, Dimitri lost his mobile phone. Road workers found the phone and during the search for the phone owner, the workers were startled when they saw petrifying pictures. The phone was taken to the police and Dimitri and Natalia were arrested. During the interrogation, the police told them that they found images of the human remains in Dimitri's mouth. Both denied it at first, but during the investigation of the dormitory, it was found that these were the remains of Alina. Natalia killed her with the help of her husband with a knife. Later, they dismembered the corpse, keeping some of the remains in their home and throwing away others in the surrounding area. Natalia was an evil-minded woman. She lured women from dating apps and has been hunting them since 1999. She tortured 30 victims before killing them and made various dishes from the corpses, keeping the remains canned. Later, she supplied the canned human meat to the school where she worked. On February 16, 2020, Dmitry Bakshi died of untreated type 1 diabetes while in custody. Undoubtedly, she was one of the most blood-curdling women in the world. So which women did you find the most intimidating? Comment down below and tell us. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.